Hello, everyone. Welcome to the TSC call. I'm sure you're familiar with the antitrust policy, the notice of which is currently displayed, as well as the code of conduct, which is linked from the agenda. Um, as I was saying earlier, I think we have a fairly light agenda, but let's see if we can uh, uh, keep it short. <laughs> Uh, we have a tendency to fill in the hour no matter what, but we really don't have to. It's okay to finish early. Um, so let's get started with a couple of announcements. I'll kind of cruise through the first one, the newsletters. Uh, at the newsletter, I'm sure you all were aware of the weekly developer newsletter. This is an opportunity for every project to raise awareness of what's going on in their projects. So think of it. Think about it. The TS election, TSC election is now going on and it will run until October 15. So if you haven't cast your vote yet, consider doing so. I have to say, it took me more time than I expected because we have a pretty nice uh, set of uh, candidates and uh, I was pretty impressed. So, with that said, um, so quarterly reports, there were no new quarterly reports submitted this week per the calendar, I have to say. Um, so we only have Avalon and Bezu, which you know have been around for over a week now. And I haven't seen on any of them any issues being raised. So is there anything anybody wants to bring up now? Otherwise, I will not bring those over next week. I think we are done with them. Um, if anybody has any connection with either Explorer or Caliper, please ping them. Try to nudge them into submitting their report because those on the other end are overdue. And this is actually the end of the Q3 uh, report. We are now in the third, fourth quarter, so we will start a new cycle of reports. So let's get to the discussion. So you may remember last week we were talking about, you know, uh, some of the backlog issues and there's this long standing one about, you know, what do we do with projects uh, that don't fulfill their charter, et cetera. And, um, we had a discussion and then we said, you know, we talked about different possibilities that, you know, exist actually, but that we could document that people can use to, you know, raise concern with regard to the direction of project text. And uh, I actually volunteered to put a proposal together. And then as I was working, thinking about it, you know, I realized, well, we have, you know, this is just one kind of issues that people can raise when it comes to the TSC. So maybe we should just have a documentation about how you raise an issue with the TSC and, you know, highlight that this can also be used to uh, specifically for uh, issues with regard to the uh, to, to projects not meeting their expectations. And then one thing led to another. I was like, oh yeah, but wait, why do people, you know, I, I had thought about, you know, um, I started putting together a page that we could add to the TSC uh, documentation. It's basically a guideline type of thing that explained what the different ways people can, you know, get at the attention of TSC on an issue. And then I thought, but wait, we have a decision log people could use to raise an issue. This is where we've been logging issues and managing issues. But then I thought, wait, why do we still use the wiki? Because now we have a GitHub repo, which I was actually using <laughs> to, to set up the page. And I thought, wait, this is archaic. We didn't have a GitHub repo before. So it was natural to use the wiki as a way to manage issues, but it seems a bit silly to continue doing so. It's admittedly a bit clunky and so, I, it led me to kind of rethink my proposal altogether and, and, and to make a first proposal in preparation to the other one, uh, which is to stop using the wiki to log issues 
uh, manage issues related to TSE and use the GitHub issues instead in the repo. So I already saw at least, uh, you know, uh, Tracy who is always on top, already comments on everything <laughs> before I even have a chance to bring it up, which is great. And, uh, you know, she already said plus one. I don't expect this to be controversial, but, you know, that's my proposal. I don't know why we wouldn't do this. I mean, I think most of the projects are moving onto GitHub issues for their own issues. And um, it seems like, you know, the tool that, you know, outsiders or the community at large would be familiar with, it would be easy for them to use. So that's the proposal. Does anybody have any comments or concern or do you want to just have a vote? I, I second your proposal. Thank you, Aaron. All right, let's do a quick vote, I think, because I have, I mean, is there any concerns before we get there? I don't see any hands getting up. So let's do a vote with just a simple yay, nay kind of thing. So any, everybody in favor says hi. 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 Oh, that sounds pretty popular. Thank you. Anybody who wants to object? Nobody, great. Anybody wants to might be marked as abstaining? Nobody, great. So this passes unanimously. And so what we will do is, we'll start using the issues. What I think I'm gonna do is create, there are a couple of issues in the backlog. I think we can open some issues in the GitHub issues with links to the, to, to the wiki issue and just move over. But um, so that will be the, you know, the last uh, kind of proposal or issues that we raised through the wiki. So we'll mark it in the wiki. Maybe, um, uh, Ryan, maybe we can disable the create an issue kind of button we have in the decision log in the wiki so that nobody even tries to do that. I mean, there may be ways around, but obviously, but- uh, we Yeah, sure, try to... I'll, I'll, make, I'll make life as, as terrible as possible. <laughs> All right, so that was easy. That's what I was hoping for. Thank you. So with that done, then we can move on to the next issue, which is the first one I talked about, this issue about, you know, documenting basically how people can raise an issue. And so I have this proposal to add a page and I put a link to the, to the pull request I already created against the TSC repo that uh, basically, you know, adds a page. If you can just display the page. Right. I see Tracy's hand is up, but sure. Yeah, yeah, but just go to the page first. No, that's not it. Go to the PR and go to the changes to show the actual document. Um, That's not yeah. it. <laughs> Next file. You're not on the wrong one, on the right one. Yes, this is the one I wanted to show. Thank you. So it's a very simple page, but it basically says, hey, you know, issues should be basically first raised within projects. And if it doesn't get solved in the project to your satisfaction, you're free to bring it up to the TSC. And there are different ways to do that. To do that. And of course, it does talk about raising it in the GitHub, uh, in the TSC GitHub repo. And uh, it also talks about different possibilities and talks about the quality reports, which we mentioned before, if it comes to an issue related to, you know, projects not fulfilling their expect the expectation that people might have or meeting the expectations. And so my idea was again, to, you know, make it a fairly general uh, page to raise any kind of issue. So it's more encompassing than the specific issue of, of projects not meeting the expectations, but you know, we can fold that into this and, and kill two pairs with one stone kind of thing. And so that's the proposal. So, oh, Tracy, did I? Uh, 
make you wait too long. You don't want to talk to us anymore. No, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Uh, <laughs> I've answered my own question. Okay. So, Arun, go ahead. Right. I thought I already commented it, but I guess I never pushed the button. Uh, so, I think this is fine. And one more thing that I was thinking through is on the anonymous, anonymous issue um, creation. So, it should be mentioned that if you want to keep yourself anonymous, uh, then first reach out to community architects. And yeah, then, so you mentioned that to me uh, on Slack actually. So, on Element, I forget which one we're using. But, uh, and so, yes. So, Arun's point, I think, is an interesting one. Uh, he said, well, there may be cases where people are not comfortable bringing up the issue, you know, uh, directly, and they may want to do so anonymously. And the probably the easiest way to handle this is for them to reach out to a community architect and have one of the community architects to do to to bring up the issue themselves on behalf of the community member and without having to reveal who that is i i didn't explicitly state that in that page but i did say you know if you're unsure about how to proceed you can contact the community architects and this page has already benefited from input from Tracy and Arun on the details. So it actually points out how you contact the community architect or how you can contact them. I mean, we, I don't know if it's necessary, if you think it's necessary to spell out that if you want to remain anonymous, this is one way you can do that. I thought, well, you know, that would fall into the, hey, I'm not sure how to go at this and we point, give them a pointer, but. I, I would. So uh, again, abusing my power here to break in on the meeting, um, I would wonder if this would fall into kind of the bucket of uh, you know COC complaints, something of that nature, um, just because of the language that Arun used. Uh, I think it may be worth calling out and not saying you know if you feel unsafe or if I, I think it would not be untoward to say. Uh, please reach out. So wait, so you're saying in the case of code of conduct violation? No, 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 no. I'm saying it's much like the code of conduct. Yes, thank you, Tracy. Um, there, you know, there is, there is a way we say in the code of conduct, you know, do this thing. And I feel that if you're saying the reason someone would use anonymous reporting is because they don't feel comfortable. It is similar to the reason why someone would not feel comfortable making a COC complaint in public. Um, so, and I see that there's discussion in, uh, in chat. So I will cede the floor to Hart or Tracy. Yes, please speak up guys. Yeah, I, I put a link out to the code of conduct incident procedure um, piece. Uh, I don't know if we could use the same thing as this, if we want to point to this, um, but that might be the, the way I agree, right? That uh, this is what I would think of because, yeah, I, I have a hard time with anonymous people having to actually contact other people. Um, so I don't know that anonymous uh, reporting is actually the right word here. It really is more about you don't want it to be publicly viewable, so you need to contact somebody. I think Tracy's done, so I'll jump in here. I think this is a good strategy. Um, you know, for fully anonymous uh, comments or complaints, there's going to be no filter, and here the community architects can keep things private while still acting as sort of a filter. Um, on these. So I think this is a good idea. And as others have been suggesting, I think it makes sense to point it out here. So if I understand you correctly, guys, you're saying it's worth putting adding a sentence in there saying that if people want to raise an issue privately, they should contact community architects. Yes. Sounds right. I concur. I'm happy to do that. Nathan. 
Yeah, I, I agree that that's very helpful. The other thing that we might want to reference here is if they raise an issue, it's always helpful for us as the TSC if they point out where they talked to the maintainers or where they've talked to the project, either as a link to the email list thread or to oh. whatever other discussion has already taken place. Uh, it, I think it's certainly we wouldn't say it's required, especially in the case of like an anonymous issue being raised, but um, it, it strikes me that that's the first thing we'd probably ask for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very good point. So we could add some uh, text there to say that when people raise an issue, they should provide as much background as possible on the issue so that the TSC can get up to speed quicker. Something along those lines, right? That's a good point. Thank you. But so I'm glad we're already getting into the details and people are working on improving, which I really appreciate. But so I'm guessing nobody is opposed to the idea here. So that's good news. I mean, I wouldn't expect this to be very controversial, obviously, but uh, there is the question as to whether, you know, having this page and we can, you know, happy to, to revise the PR and, and, and to improve with the input that you guys just gave me. Um, do you guys think that this satisfies the problem we were having with the specific issue of projects not meeting the charter, at least in terms of like being, a, you know, documenting how people can raise this issue? Arun? Sure. Uh, thanks, Arun. So, I guess I'll I'll give you one quick background of why that uh, was an issue or why that was considered some topic that we need to discuss. And then it all boils down to one email thread that was happening earlier related to one of the project, where the project maintainers said they already had an answer for some of these things, and but they were not comfortable that it got escalated till TSC at very first point. Maybe there were better ways of engaging with them. And that's what they felt. And um, I mean, that's what might have made them feel not good about that email thread. So maybe having this forum where people can go and raise an issue and discuss with projects specifically, get their answers addressed. And if there is still any issue, and then if they are coming to TSC, then I guess at least that addresses the concern over there. Okay, thank you. Any other comments? Okay, if not, then what I would like to do is, you know, can we agree on the general approach and then leave the details uh, of the you know edits of the page to the <clears throat> to the repo where we can you know I can update the pull request and then people can vote and based on that we'll you know um, merge the the page or the, merge the changes to add the page but uh, I would like to have agreement that we're going to add this page and that. Uh, this will effectively close this issue about projects not meeting their charter goals. Can we have a vote on this? Please, Kent. All right, thank you, Arun. I think it's not controversial again, so I'm happy to do it the same way we did the other one. Everybody in favor, say hi. 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 Anybody wants to object? Anybody wants to abstain? All right, we're on a roll. This solves this problem. Thank you very much. The motion passes unanimously. Okay, so we have one more item on the agenda. Arun brought it up to me, asked if we could add this to the agenda. I will let him speak, but essentially this is about, you know, how task forces get created, just as a, to frame a little bit the, the problem. You may remember that a while ago, we had working groups 
and we said, well, working groups were, but at least, you know, some of them had deliverables, others didn't. We eventually agreed to turn working groups into long lasting forums for discussions and for specific, you know, tasks uh, which were uh, time bounded with the specific deliverable or deliverables possibly, we would create task forces. They would just be created for a specific purpose, a specific time frame, and then disband. And we just had one of those with like, you know, the the um, the greenhouse and the, the charter update and stuff like this. So now this to date has been basically under the control of the TSE. We decide when we create a task force, when we don't. So our room. What that? Um, thanks, Arnold. I actually have Vikram also on the call, so probably I'll let Vikram speak. But a quick background of what Arnold was about to say is, so task forces, there, there is, um, at least I could not find a place where we have a defined process of this is how task force can be proposed to TSE. And all the task forces that have been formed so far have been based on some discussion that happened within the TSC calls, but it's not known to a wider audience. And um, Vikram is actually working on one of the activity which he would like to have a recognition from Hyperledger on that and also collaborate with others within the open source community. Basically, it is about writing a white paper. And yeah, I'll, I'll let Vikram speak more about it before I complete my sentences. Vikram? Yeah, thanks, Arun. Uh, I hope I'm audible. Yes, welcome. Okay. And go ahead. Yeah, hi. So, uh, you know, as part of, you know, Hyperledger India chapter, you know, one of the things that we picked up was to, you know, write a white paper on, uh, you know, re-engineering elections uh, and, you know, uh, elections and, you know, blockchain. So for that purpose, you know, uh, what we feel is, you know, we understood from Arun that, you know, uh, that Hyperledger TSC, you know, has decided that, you know, we will form task forces, but, you know, we could not find a way to create a task force, you know, what was the process. And the second aspect is that, you know, if it is an official task force, then, you know, what it is, what it entices people to join, uh, you know, that particular, you know, opportunity and, you know, participate in it. And, you know, that is where, you know, we will deliver better results for the community. So that is what, you know, we, end up, you know, we wanted that, you know, if there is a process uh, that, okay, you know, you follow this rule and, you know, your task force would be picked, would be picked up and, you know, formulated. And, you know, for example, you know, what all it entails, maybe, you know, it entails you to create a wiki page, uh, maybe it entails to you to a chat forum, what does it entails and, you know, how do you go about it if there is such a process, it would help, you know, people like me and others who want to, you know, contribute to this forum. All right, so, thank you for this explanation. Tracy has her hand up. Yeah, so I think I put a link to our task force launch in the the element. Um, we do have a, you know, you have to create a proposal. I guess my expectation uh, prior to today's decision was that that would be done in the decision log. So now I guess I would think that proposal would be done as an issue that's raised to the TSC. Um, since as part of that task force launch page, we say that the TSC has to approve task force creation. Um, and then also looking at our other task force decisions, we talk about the extension of a task force if it goes beyond the allocated time frame, um, and then the reporting back to the TSC on the completion of said task force. So I think we do have some of this stuff already documented. It's just a matter of, um, you know, I guess what, what's, what's being looked for is some formal process instead of some, you know, high level ideas about what we have. Um, I think, you know, Obviously, we can use the TSC repo as a uh, place to put those proposals. And then uh, we can also probably put uh, some sort of page that says how you would create a task force inside of that TSC repo. So that would be my suggestion. 
All right, thank you, Tracy. I'm so glad you're around and I always managed to pull out the right piece of uh, document uh, uh, when we need it. Thank you. Um, you know, my initial reaction when, when Arun brought it up to me was like, wait, I don't see that there's anything preventing anyone from proposing a task force. But uh, I guess, you know, it's finding this kind of information is not necessarily uh, obvious. And I don't think, I think we documented, you know, as you pointed out, uh, some of the mechanics involved or the expectations to create a, a task force, but we never documented that it's not limited to TSC members. Anybody can actually, you know, use this process to propose a task force. And I think this is part of the problem. The way Arun initially framed it to me was like, you know, we need something that is more bottom up. The current task force process is very top down. And I was like, is it? I mean, it didn't match my, my understanding, but I realized, well, there's nothing that really makes that clear either. So I can see how, you know, people who are not as close to the TSC as other, uh, we are, uh, may not, you know, have that impression. But so, yeah, it seems like, you know, there is no real issue per se. And I don't, I mean, I, uh, you guys tell me that I don't expect anybody to be opposed to the idea of expanding this process to make it clear that anyone can use this mechanism to launch task forces. And so then maybe it's more of a question of, making an effort to better document it. And maybe this is just another page we can add to the TSC uh, website along the lines of what we just talked about to raise an issue. Perhaps we could use something like the CIL um, from CNCF as a model here. Um, it, you know, it, uh, it has a how to apply, which is, this where you file an issue and you, you do all this as an issue, right? Yeah, so that, that seems to be a bit in line with what I think Tracy touched on. She said maybe that can be done through the repo as issues. Tracy, your hand is up. Yeah, I was just gonna volunteer to write the page. Oh, well, that's great. I was going to ask who wants to volunteer. So thank so, you for stepping up. Uh, so there is this as well, which we can trivially add, right? It's a, the issue template for uh, for CNCF, right? So if we have an issue template, all of our discussion that was just recorded can be put into new issues and make everything easy, make the expectations straightforward and make everything super easy. Brad, would you mind um, putting the CIL and then this template like in the chat room? I, I mind doing anything, of course. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Ray. All right, thanks for pointing that out, right? And thank you, Tracy, for volunteering to put this together. I mean, let's check with the our friends here. I mean, Arun and Vikram, does that, do you feel like this will address your, your problem? Vikram, okay. I, I, to me, it addresses right or not. And thanks for pointing that, uh, Tracy. I was actually searching through the TSC um, wiki, um, but yeah, I could not find one. And thanks for pointing it out. We can probably this addresses the concern. I know it's like high level, probably more details will be figured out in, in upcoming meetings. But this should be a good guidance. All right, and then once we have, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm guessing, Tracy, you're gonna put a PR together and then people, sure. you know, I invite Vikram and Arun and everybody else to uh, have an eye for that keep an eye out for this and 
when it comes up, uh, feel free to comment if you feel like something is missing. I, I would, you know, uh, suggest uh, that Vikram should not feel gated on this page existing though, now that the previous process has been linked to, um, you know, if you wanted to send an email or something on the TSC list, uh, I just don't want, they want to do a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to get in the way of them doing a thing. I want people who want to do things, be able to do it. No, absolutely. So I'm glad, you know, we basically, I take it, you know, from this discussion, we've confirmed that they are definitely welcome to create or, or propose to create a task force, right? And we're just saying they don't have to wait for this page to be set up for doing so. They're welcome to make that proposal any time. I, I agree. So I'm not, that's right. So Vikram, maybe it's then um, like you have to take that next step. Uh, yeah, Vikram replied in the other chat, which yeah. I forgot nice. to disable. It's all right. All right then. So I think we're done with that uh, item and that means we are done with the official uh, agenda. Not, Is not quite yet. I did reach oh. out to you in chat. Um, I, I forgot to uh, announce during the announcements section um, that we are having our uh, DevRel Marcom meeting is next week and it's next wednesday it the link will be out in the dev weekly and it's in the tsc calendar but uh i would really appreciate it if uh you know more maintainers and more people from projects uh took advantage of the resources uh that we have and join the marcom devrel meeting so next wednesday All right thank you sorry i didn't actually ask if anybody else had any other announcements the way i normally do how ruined does his end up? I have an announcement. And it's more related to call for each of the projects. And uh, there is an event happening, at a global convention or probably an hackathon event called AgreeD Convention. And they are looking at Hyperledger uh, maintainers taking sessions for their hackathon participants. And um, so if you are interested, then please let me know. I'll, I'll get you connected with them. They're, they're looking at um, Hyperledger as one of the resources, or maybe David, you can add more on that. They're looking at Hyperledger as one of the um, community partners for the event. And they would like to have a tech session for the hackathon participants. Wait. All right, thank you. So is there anything else anybody wants to bring up? Sure, I'm gonna make a 24 minute. I, I just want to point out that uh, <laughs> I, Bezu, uh, this, is, this is it for me. Um, Bezu had, as far as I'm aware, the, the first uh, commit from someone uh, through, the, uh, through the, uh, the, the Grace Hopper uh, program last week. There may have been other commits that came in that I missed, but I just wanted to, you know, get some kudos to the to the Bezu team. So I, I cede the floor to uh, to Tracy. That was good. Yeah, just Thank to you. say Cactus had uh, um, a pull request merge as well from somebody at the OSD. Nice. Very good. Oh, no, everybody wants to speak at that room. Hey, yes, so the event was really great. And I also found that Firefly 2 had contributions coming in on that event. Thank you. Grace. Yeah, just wanted to echo uh, what Arun just said. Um, I think uh, as the TSC, it'd be awesome over the next year to kind of work with the staff to uh, identify similar events or, or even have a bigger presence next year at this kind of event. I thought it was a great way to expose Hyperledger and our projects and get people working on it. It just was a really, really great day. So just wanted to echo what Arun said and say, I think um, this would be a really cool thing for us to continue to, to drive. Um, yeah, but it was great. All right. Very good to hear. Okay, so guys, we're not going to drag this on for much longer. 
uh, uh, wearing the clothes early, which I'm glad. But I want to point out that officially we only have one more call for this TSC, and then there will be the results of the election will be announced. There will be a new TSC form. There is the TSC election uh, of, for the chair election takes place the following week. So I think the previous years, we just didn't have a, a meeting during that week because we wait for the new chair to be decided. And so, um, and at this point, I don't know if we were gonna have a call next week or not. You know, we'll see whether there's anything, you know, that, bring, that comes up. Right now, we have a pretty short list in a backlog, mostly DCL related issues, which we're not gonna be able to make much progress on for the time being. So, we may not have a call next week, and this means that this might be the last call of this TSC term. So if we don't get to talk again, <laughs> I want to thank everybody for you know participating in this TSC. And uh, obviously, I think about everybody here except for Mark, uh, you know, uh, is running again, and, and Gary, I guess. But um, so. Hopefully I'll see you on the other side, but uh, if not, it's okay. Thank you all for joining and uh, I'll see we whenever we talk. All right, thank you guys. Goodbye.